I've been living in the jungles of green hell for over four weeks. Oh, oh my God. And four weeks in the jungle would make a survivor out of anyone. Am I really this hungry right now? Am I really about to do this? The brutal environment has sculpted me into a hardened survivor. When I'm scared, I hide between rocks. It's taught me to be more in tune with my body's needs. Honestly, got a parasite in my tum tum. That's not good. And it's taught me to appreciate the simple luxuries of home. I love tortoises. I have a pet tortoise in real life. Her name's Flora. She's just a little baby. I'm not killing this tortoise though. Wait, I bet the, sh uh, the shell is valuable. Like grocery stores. No, 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 no. Get that back. That's my spear. I was in the jungle completing a mission. I had found a gas can and needed to find an old abandoned elevator. The goal was to find a grappling hook and then make it home safely. Just follow on the road. Just follow on the road like my man said. It didn't take me very long to find it, but I did make a couple of wrong turns. Which way does the road go? This way looks like a, a way. So let's see. What is this? This is the elevator. Sweet! I found it. I put some gas in the tank and rode the old elevator down the cliffside until I found an old abandoned gold mine. I have a feeling there's something very dangerous here. It would only make sense if something very dangerous was lurking in this place. There wasn't though. There was a grappling hook though. Whoa, God. And some weird reading materials with stuff about, like, I don't, I don't even know yet. Oh, that's creepy. This is creepy. The story's getting kind of creepy and supernatural now. I need a place to take shelter for the night. Ah, uh, here's some beds. I slept, gathered up some valuables, and prepared for a long trip home. We got what we came for. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I randomly found a heavy sack of gold. So I have a sack of gold now. I feel like now I've been cursed. That's what always happens in the movies, right? The greedy guy who takes the diamonds and the gold gets cursed. Or killed. By a tiger in the jungle. On my way home, I found some notable landmarks. Like this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? It looks like the f***ing Flintstones lived here. I thought it was like a native war fortress or something. Should I go in there? I mean, hell, I saved my game. Might as well see what it's all about. It's a plane. But it was actually a rock formation next to a plane that had been shot down by someone. Bro, someone lived here. Creepy, creepy stuff going on out here in this jungle. And have I mentioned what an unhelpful pessimist my girlfriend Mia was being? Maybe I should light a big fire. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you know well enough you're on your own. <laughs> she, she. Why isn't she contacting help if she's okay? You're on your own, she says. Is she lying to us? I have a feeling Mia's not okay, and she's just telling me that so that I don't worry. God, she's so brave. That's why she's... That's why she's my girl. That's why she's my girl. Here's the truth, I've not been outside for days. Hey, pigs. I can see clouds through a screen I've got strapped to my face. Here, dangerous and shit. The weather is better, you'll see. Cause under Slightly scary noise. Let's run. Let's run. If you want friends, then out here they're the best. A place filled with peace, love, and joy, and with death. Cause you could love your friends or just beat them to death. Then point Come on. and laugh and then teabag them again. Let us sleep. Let us go explore the night. The trip home was taking forever, so I changed the plan. It was time to find that dream plot of land upon which I could build my dream home. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is it. This is it. This is the place. Let's do it. Let's get to building. Well, I'll admit, it's a beautiful house. It's beautiful. It's in the works, but it's beautiful. But I unfortunately lost track of time, and now I'm very hungry, very thirsty. And there's not a whole lot of food here at the house right now. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I made some armor out of some armadillo skin. Pretty sure that's tough stuff. Let's go to sleep before we pass out. Not this old problem again. Oh my god. Ah! Well, dug the parasites out of my flesh and needed to find food fast. But food in this area was very scarce. Again? Another one. Another one. This is just wonderful. 
All right, let's we gotta hurry up and take care of this problem before it gets too intense. Let's just sleep, get some energy. Not too much though, cause we'll starve. We'll starve soon, very soon. I think I had overstayed my welcome here because most of the fish and the fruit hadn't respawned. Come on, fishies, I'm starving. Just give it to me. Give me what you got, nature. I'll eat it. I'll settle for bones, for bone soup. I had to say it, didn't I? I guess I'm gonna eat human bone soup. Am I really this hungry right now? Yes. Am I really about to do this? I have no other options. I just hope you guys don't judge me. I hope that this isn't such a weird moment that you're like, eh, I think I'm gonna unsubscribe now. The game bugged out all of a sudden and I couldn't cook the meat. Seemed like divine intervention if you ask me. Why isn't my fire cooking, dude? So I can't make soup with human meat? Why is the game broken? It's broken as fuck. I had to load an earlier save file in which I hadn't saved the bug, which is why I always keep at least two save files. Finally, Lord Jesus, Gary and Broseph. Eating one fish gave me a tiny bit of energy to go out and hunt. I wanted lots of meat to cook and dry over the next few days. I figured there'd be a crocodile around here, but still haven't seen one. I love the turtles. I wish I could take a pet tortoise. They're so cute. You're so cute. See, that's the thing I explored earlier. Found some, some, I found a machete, which I have since lost. I don't know what happened to my machete. It was very nice having a machete for a very short time, but it's gone now. What do we have here? The ocean or something? Holy crap. That's like the ocean, my brother. This was my first time at the ocean where a new and unfamiliar beast lurked in the shadowy depths. Interesting. So this is like the ocean. Whoa, that's a big fish. That's a huge fish. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, it's a fucking crocodile. We're killing that crocodile. Holy shit. Did I kill it? Dude, I killed it. I killed a croc. Now I had alligator tails for days and those are good. That's a lot of meat and a lot of bones. Mission accomplished, my brother. What happened to your face? We'll take some crocodile meat and put it in the bowl. And then we know what we gotta do. We gotta make the crocodile meat. <laughs> make the crocodile meat. <laughs> That's the crocodile meat. <laughs> it's the crocodile meat. It's really, really good. It makes you feel good. It's a meat soup. Ooh, 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 ooh. Crocodile meat. Do, 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 do. It's the crocodile meat.